Death of a Naturalist is Seamus Heaney's reflection on the loss of childhood innocence. He looks back at a time in his childhood where he was in his native county Derry beside an area of boggy water. The poem meditates on the relationship between human beings and nature and using that relationship to explore the transition from childhood to adolescence, a theme that is universal reflected across the world. All year the flax stamp festered in the heart of the townland. Green and heavy-headed flax had rotted there, weighted down by huge sods. Daily it sweltered in the punishing sun. Bubbles gargled delicately. Blue bottles wove a strong gauze of sound round the smell. There were dragonflies, spotted butterflies, but best of all was the warm, thick slobber of frog spawn that grew like clotted water in the shade of the banks. Here, every spring, I would fill jam pot fulls of jellied specks to range on the windowsills at home, on shelves at school, and wait and watch until the fattening dots burst into nimble swimming tadpoles. Miss Walls would tell us how the daddy frog was called a bullfrog and how he croaked and how the mommy frog laid hundreds of little eggs and this was frog spawn. You could tell the weather by the frogs too for they were yellow in the sun and brown in the rain. Then one hot day when fields were rank with cow dung on the grass the angry frogs invaded the flax dam. I ducked through the hedge to a coarse croaking that I had not heard before. The air was thick with a bass chorus. Right down the damp, gross-bellied frogs were cocked on sods, their loose necks pulsed like sails. Some hopped, the slap and plop were obscene threats. Some sad, poised like mud grenades, their blunt heads farting. I sickened, turned and ran. The great slime kings were gathering there for vengeance and I knew that if I dipped my hand, the spawn would clutch it. 